Hi friends, this is Lewis from Radio Redemption and Power. And today I would like to read to you from Matthew 21, verse 12 through 13. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who bought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Friends, today it is very common in churches. We see pastors and leaders promoting books, CDs, and many other things they made. And somehow these pastors think that just because they write these books um, based on what their interpretation or whatever it may be of God, it's okay to do that. What we need to understand is that an altar of God is a place of purity. It's a place of prayer. It's not a place to involve the, the, the things of the world in. And in other words, what the Bible just said, you know, exchanging things for money. It is not a place where we take money and we lay it on the altar. Because when we lay money on the altar, we're actually defiling the altar of God. Today, it is very common for these practices to take place in the church. If we look back in the Old Testament, Anyone that defiled the altar of God, the holies of holies, was struck down. I think a lot of these people have lost the fear of God. And today I just want to show you some of the things that's going on in the altars today. God bless you.